Hi. I started getting interested in this subject recently. It may sound kind of arcane, but it's very relevant to anyone who presents. How does nostalgia improve presentation skills? Now, we've all heard about affirmations, self-talk, etc., but I ran across some really interesting research, I've included the link at the bottom of my blog um, here, um, that indicates that nostalgia is an inbuilt protective factor for we who suffer from fear, um, from nervousness about presenting. Let's talk about that a little bit. Well, until recently, until basically the 2000s, nostalgia was considered a psychological disorder. But then a team of researchers from the University of Southampton in the UK found that nostalgia helps to build resilience, mental fortitude, and social connectedness, all things that are super important for effective presenting. So what is nostalgia? Well, first of all, it's not rumination. Rumination is when you think about something, you get all disturbed about it. There's some bitterness involved. Uh, these researchers determine that nostalgia could be defined as a wellspring of personal meaning that acts as a buffer against existential threats. Really interesting, since many of us uh, our stress reactions to presenting is as if we are reacting to an existential stress. Our amygdala, you know how brain chemistry works, cortisol, our stress response really doesn't know the difference between presenting and something truly existentially uh, threatening. So these researchers uh, tell us that nostalgia itself gives the perfect inbuilt neurological defense mechanism to nervousness and fear. Hey. That's kind of interesting. So nostalgia doesn't have, it's an internal thing. It's not about us regaling our audiences with personal memories. It's not about our external behavior at all. It's about what we think about in the weeks and days preceding our presentation uh, and how we use that as a personal protective factor. So let's take a look at the two ways, uh, two steps to use uh, nostalgia as a personal protective factor. First, in a relaxed state, weeks or days before, um, concentrate, close your eyes, breathe, really find in your memory a time in which you were really happy. It doesn't have to be a professional situation. It could be lying around with your cat, a family situation, or a professional um, situation such as accepting a reward. Really let the memory flood you. Get nostalgic about it. Really feel it in your system. And do that several times as you prepare for your presentation. When it's showtime, a couple of maybe five or ten minutes before you go on stage, go into a personal space, private, maybe a cubicle in a bathroom, and recollect that memory. Get in touch with it again. Really let it inform you. It has nothing to do with your presentation, the content of your presentation, but it has everything to do about how you feel. It's your own personal shield against nervousness and debilitating fear. Once you get on stage, really feel the strength of yourself that nostalgia helped you build as you release a dynamic presentation to the audience members. They will thank you for it. You will be so authentic, so grounded, so real, uh, and nobody knows that it was nostalgia that helped you get there. So try it out and tell me how it goes. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.